Shadow Cadaver. Your advisor rushes into your bedroom and barges past your guard. My lady, I have terrible news about your grandfather's crypt. During the night, his tomb was ransacked. We suspect they were looking for valuables he was buried with. He looks down at his feet before continuing. That's not all, my queen. We've been able to locate his body either. We suspect it's been taken for ransom, but we have not heard we have heard no use as of yet. My grandfather had many enemies, and of course, last episode of tragedy uh, befell, bef be befell, befitted the realm. Uh, our current character's grandfather and our previous character, Shadow King, Top Og Spoth, Priest Hater of Ashai, the, the Warlock, the Immortal, uh, the oh, oh, evidently not so immortal, the uh, head of the Cult of the Starry Wisdom and all-round nice dude, died at the age of 63, horrendously assassinated by somebody who, in fact, we, d we don't know who it was, um, died of suspicious circumstances, those suspicious circumstances being an inn blowing up, an inn that he was stopping in on a journey outside of his court. Um, he died, and we have inherited his realm, but apparently, his body has gone missing. Very mysterious. I wonder that, what that could mean for Queen Iala of Ashai, our current ruler. Um, a good character, to be honest with you. Honorable, char charitable, <laughs> charitable, char ch fucking shit. Honorable, charitable, kind, deceitful, patient are all words I know how to say. Um, not only that, but her brother inherited Leng. H however, her brother is not well liked at all. He is a lunatic. Perhaps people see uh, a little bit of top bog spoff there in God Emperor Sidudu spoff of Leng. The fucking God Emperor, seriously. So, we as the good ruler that we are of Ashai, the kind, charitable, honorable ruler of Ashai, are trying to have our brother assassinated so that his titles can fall back to us because, you know, we're his heir. He is our heir, respectively, so getting rid of him might be good for the entire realm. Reunify Ashai, because he took uh, the Manticore Isles and Lang. We'll reunify everything. And then, because we are a worshipper of the Old Ones, we might have the opportunity to open up the labyrinths underneath Lang and unleash our gods on the world again. Something that Top Bog might not have got around to, seeing as he sort of abandoned the gods in favour of in favor of pure power and dark magic. Uh, we, however, are going to serve destiny. Queen Ayala, granddaughter of Shadow King Top Bog and ruler of the Old Ones, will open the labyrinths under Lang and see what we can find under there. I wonder what or who it could be. All right. So, um, in terms of gameplay, we've got a fair amount to do. Uh, firstly, well, first things first, we definitely have to become 16 years of age. Uh, that will happen no matter what, though I don't really have to try too hard with that one. We need to find ourselves a good educator. Now, we are being trained in stewardship, and honestly, we're not a terrible character for that. Now, we need to find someone who's preferably like, uh... Oh my god. Halor is still around. The, 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 the boy man that taught my grandfather, that taught Top Box Boff, how to become... The, uh, how to become immortal. He would make for a great educator. Not only is he a good character in terms of his education, in terms of his, uh, his, his stewardship stat there, he's quick, he's honorable, he's charitable, he's patient, he's kind. All of these make him a good educator. I think there's a very strong chance of us actually gaining those, th those, uh, that, that high education stat. Um, we'll also have our chief general for what it's worth training children. We still count as a child. Anybody below the 16, um, is still affected by this event. So there's a 7.5% chance that, you know, we might increase our combat ability. I don't think we will. After we've done, uh, I was about to say evolving then or leveling up. Neither of those are right. After we have grown to the age of 16 and, and, and finished our education, we need to tame our father's dragon. He's still in court, Tyvron, but he is an untamed dragon right now. He's wild. He's out there in the world. He's he's hanging around the castle because obviously he's lived there his whole life. And we're friends with him because we grew up around him. But he is untamed. So we have the option in the menu here to tame a dragon. I think before we do that, we need to brush ourselves up. We need to increase our, our learning. We need to go and visit some other important dragon sites to get enough knowledge about taming dragons to be able to do it safely. Because if this character dies, we are really, really screwed because then we're playing as a 14-year-old Craven, lunatic, idiot boy, um, which is obviously not ideal. So, so we'll we'll brush ourselves up a little bit. We won't dive into taming the dragon because we can't fuck this up. This character is no top box buff. Let's be honest. Um, Yala buff is still still pretty good though. The best part of preparing for a feat. So we're we're having a funeral for our grandfather, top bog. Um, I mean, why not? I'll spend lavishly on food. Now, hopefully, it's not an open casket funeral, seeing as his body has disappeared and we can't find it. So, um, what if he bursts through the doors, Aragon style? Oh, that would, that would be kind of cool. Um, it's not going to happen, though, because, you know, <clears throat> reasons. To the most excellent queen, Yala, your wisdom and mercy legendary, like, accept your gracious invitation to join your court. I found this nice man, who had a dragon bone bow and a dragon bone bracelet with no family members, no living relatives at all, besides a sister who can't inherit. Um, if you were to horribly die, we would inherit his bow and his bracelets, both made of dragon bone. So... Wouldn't that be a shame, eh? Anyway, he's in court, so we'll, we'll do what we can with this dude as well. What, did, I, did I employ him for a reason besides that? I don't think I did. I think I actually just wanted his artifact, so we'll, we'll roll with that strategy for a while. Alright, after that, Princess Stra 
Strang's buff. Uh, the one who stole Stig Eye from us is about to lose Stig Eye to a Shadow Man Revolt. Shit, really? Um. Now, Strang's buff has been a constant pain in the ass this entire campaign. She petitioned Top Bog time and time again for titles, named him a tyrant on many different occasions. Her heir is now my younger brother, because apparently Stig Eye is, um. Stig Eye is probably Agnatic Cognatic, which is a little bit annoying because it means we can't get it. We need to get rid of her. If she loses Stig Eye to the Shadow Men, we have to once again reconquest it. Now, not only that, Ashai is currently split between the Re the Ashai Republic and the and the the kingdom set up by Top Box Spoff. So we also want to take back the Sh the Sephiroth lands and actually reincorporate the Republic back into the kingdom. Ideally, usurp these titles and keep them for ourselves. Right, not ideal, but. The best part is right now we only hold a shy and the castle, so we could actually hold these two as well, and no one will complain because they're part of our, you know, du jour duchy. Right, advisor, um, leader of the Stig Eye Shadow Revolt. Yeah, no, I don't want you on the council if you don't mind. Who else have we got? Oh, so we don't have a priest. Reason for that is obviously we're a separate religion to the people in a shy, and we'll have to save up like 25 gold or whatever to employ a new character. It's gonna be a while. Um, sure, I'm wasting a lot of money on uh, on my grandfather's funeral, but you know what? He deserves it. Top box buff deserves a funeral. Just make, again, make sure it's not open casket. All the guests have arrived in a shine. It's time to start the feasting. To celebrate the life of Shadow King Topbox Boff. Unsurprisingly, people actually... Wow. Okay, a lot of people turned up. I was going to say people didn't want to come, but everybody in the family turned up. Um, classic digging spoff there. Kerp spoff. Strang spoff. Boffin spoff. And apparently Topbox Boff. Um, wait. I assume that's not the Topbox Boff. That must be like a grandson named after him or something. Lord Hunhouse Boff used his attendance in the feast to present a petition of justice before the court. Our husband... Um, and distant, distant relative cousin, I believe. Um, well, yeah, if he's also our grandfather. So, distant cousin there. Hunhel, um, we want to, obviously, rule in favour of our husband. So, uh, Tanshock must be arrested to make an answer for this. Uh, Gaini must be, we're we'll basically doing anything that isn't going to make us arbitrary. Uh, he's waiting his fate now. Excellent. And another one for Gaini there. My liege, I believe that... Oh, strength buff. Honestly, you've made my kill list as well. Oh, she's already on the kill list. Excellent. Right. Okay, good to know. Um, you're obviously the main boy on the kill list right now. I don't think that plot's going to go anywhere without obviously hiring some backers, but a lot of people want to see this kid dead. He's ruling over a foreign culture, um, so, you know, it should be fairly difficult. It shouldn't be fairly difficult to bump this poor kid off. My liege, I believe that vassals, yeah, whatever. Um, ask politely. This guy managed to escape. Gyni and Tanshot both managed to escape. Dig in, my lords. Gain 30 prestige. We're up to minus 9 gold. That's fine. Uh, create the High Lordship of Langmar. Interesting. Something for us to inherit, I guess. Summer is nearly at an end, and the autumn and the harvest is upon us. The feasting shall celebrate this time with food from throughout Ashai, including boar, gooseberries, salmon, and lobster. Excellent. Um, do we want... So, basically, there is obviously... The, winter is a big part of the gameplay mechanics. In, well, it's a big part of the Game of Thrones world, but a big part of the gameplay mechanics as well. During winter, your uh, provinces will be hit by a varying degree. Sometimes you'll have a severe winter, which uh, decreases things like levy reinforcement rate, taxes, things like that. Um, we can, though, spend 40 gold to get large winter reserves. In the case that it's a severe winter, we won't have those effects of, uh, hit us. It's only 40 gold as well. It's not a big deal. I'm quite happy to do that. It is done. The friends and family of the departed as well. Noble lords of the realm arrived at the keep. The body of Shadow King Topog cleaned and prepared for viewing. Dressed in the finest funeral guards. We found him a body double. Cleaned and prepared for viewing. Dressed in the finest funeral guards and accessories. Sit in the casket placed at the feet of the ruling seat. Ah, interesting. Shadow King Topog's buff died in suspicious circumstances on the 14th of March. 1899 at the age of 63. He was a man. I can't argue with that. He was a man whose sanity was regularly questioned. Shadow King Topbog was merely a competent swordsman who was not a warrior. Songs are written off famously. Topbog was known to be a dragon rider. That's, that's true. He was that. Holding a funeral is removed and we gain 40 piety. Excellent. And someone inherited a, a shy or something. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm right on cue. A Shadow Man Uprising. Finally. Yeah, I wondered when this was going to happen. Is she winning that war or is she also pretty fucked? Um, she, peasant fought for Stig Eye. She's won that one. Okay, Princess Sh uh, Strang of Ashai has won that one. Excellent. I don't know why she's called Princess St Strang of Ashai there and then um, Lady, S Lady Strang of Stig Eye there. Weird. All right. Um, this should be fairly straightforward. Now, the next thing we want to do... How old are we? Uh, we're 15. When do we When do we level up? When do we evolve? 20, 21st of October. The second we've done with that, our next mission, grab the dragon. Clearly, the dragon is going to be very important. It's going to keep this campaign together. It keeps the Shadow Men in check. Princess Strang Spoff has been a leal and able servant. Oh, right, we're in a regency, because obviously we're only 15. Um, 
Oh, shit. So we've either got to give her an heirloom or give her 15 gold. Well, give her 15 gold or give her a dragon egg is basically the only option. Obviously, we're not going to give her the crown of shadows, so fuck her. Um, have some 15 gold. At least the slave trade is going to keep the money going. And you know what? This slave might be worth something here. Uh, attractive, charitable, kind, ambitious, brave. Sure, why the fuck not? Sell slave. Uh, 80 gold. 15 gold. Perhaps someone will offer us a fairer price. Um, shit, we should have taken the 15 gold. 40 gold. Hey, that was worth it. I'm, I'm glad I sort of pushed that one there. We have no prisoners we can ransom off either. Um, I do need to set a shy as the crown focus. Can't believe I forgot to do that. All right, we should, we should more than crush these shadow men now, because obviously our vassals are, um, quite well organized for once. For the, for the first time in the entirety of the playthrough, we have well organized vassals who are friendly with us too. We're, come on. Mine is touched. Ah, oh, skilled steward. You know what? It could be worse, because, uh, stewardship is one of the easiest... Um, easiest education is to level up, right? So we can become Midas Touch just by taking the, the business focus for a while. But we still want to focus on our ultimate goal, taming a dragon, releasing the old gods. And there is a simple way to do that. We take the scholarship focus, build an observatory, read crazed books about the old ones, and hopefully descend into madness, which will allow us to open the labyrinths under Lang. Only someone who is crazy and truly insane can do that. Local revolt risk because the dragon's eating people. Who cares? Um, she wants to become designated regent. That's fine. She's actually quite skillful. She seems like a pretty good character. Okay. Let's kill ourselves some shadow men. It's almost like the christening, right? The, uh, the, the baptism for the new ruler of a shy. Killing some shadow men there. Um, Hun Hel and Yuan. Uh, Boffin is apparently slightly better. I should have probably checked his stats, eh? The spy master of Princess Strang of a shy has been sent to stick out to investigate rumors of a plot. Oh, shit. He might find out about the plot to kill her heir. This might be necessary. Please, please don't find out. Please. I think we got away from it. Oh, shit. A pox is broken out. A pox on both your houses. What is it? It's just regular pox. Okay, it's not a big deal. I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, the peasants, though. The peasants, the peasants will all die horribly. That's fine. Now, we've got to remember the shadow men are pretty crappy in combat. So, I think even though it shows them as having cavalry there. Yeah, they do have cavalry, but it won't matter. We're still going to absolutely thwomp them. Um, boom. All right. Good start. Can we ransom this dude off? Can we do anything with him at all which might help uh, bring back some money? No. So, we need to save up 50 gold for the observatory. Do I want to risk the dragon? I don't really want to risk the dragon. We can try and tame the dragon, but obviously if we fail, the dragon will fly away. Um, it, it's also a chance it will kill us, it'll maim us, it'll burn us horribly. I think we should go and visit some other points of the world and learn about dragon lore. So I think we're going to go on a grand adventure as Yala Spoff. We'll wait for our money to build up whilst we wait for our observatory to be built, that type of thing. Wait to do that. Uh, you just lead a small troop of... Wait, we have no boats. Why do we have no boats at all? Shit. Um, why? Why? So, Ashai control the city of Ashai. Not much of a shocker there. Can we go to war with these boys and actually take back the lands that we're owed? Um, we can border dispute them. We can take Ashai holdings. We can slave raid them. Obviously, we can't because they're our culture. We can, we can border dispute them. Does your claim on Ashai? Uh, we become their new leash. No, we don't want that. We just want to take what they've got. So, I think we are going to have to fabricate claims, unfortunately, unless I'm willing to become a tyrant again. But this is the first time the realm hasn't been ruled by a tyrant. So, I kind of want to keep what we've got going here. Um, so, you go fabricate claims on the Saffron lands. Chief General Boff and Spoff, you can train some troops. Fuck it, we'll take the levy sides, honestly, at this stage. Still no priest, can't do much about that, unfortunately. Um, short of saving up a load more money, but we won't worry about that too much. Dragon is first come, first serve. We don't really want to go to war until we can get our dragon anyway. Am I going to have to hire boats? We have to hire some boats to take us on an adventure. It's 30 gold to hire some boats, so absolutely we can't do that either. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Um, do I want to just hire a priest, though? Because what I'm thinking is we can have them, you know, performing charity in our name. We can have them improving uh, the standing of the round. Maybe even reducing our tyranny a little bit there as well. Uh, where, where can we employ a new court here? How much is this going to cost me? I want to hire a priest. 16 gold? Uh, okay, fine. Akia. Um, he's, he's terrible. Like, he's actually terrible. Incompetent scientist. He's a scholar and a zealot, though. So it could have been much, much worse. Welcome. Akia of the old ones. All right. Let's employ him. Priest and Akia. Uh, and again, I want you to perform charity to try and improve my name a little bit. So you can sort of see that um, Ashai, the, the, the city of Ashai, the Republic of Ashai, they still control the majority of the holdings in uh, the province of Ashai. They still have the Saffron Harbour, the, you know, the city of Ashai and the Temple of Ashai there. A little bit annoying. We could just go to war for those provinces, I guess. Or negotiate annexation. Ah. Let's try it. You've decided to try and negotiate the annexation of the ancient city of Ashai. Who shall be sent to the Saffron Lands to parley with the Shadow Chancellor? I should go personally. Of course I'll go personally. We might as well show off our diplomatic prowess. Do we even... Oh, okay. We, we really have no diplomatic prowess. This might have been a bad idea. Let's give it a go. I am with Trout. My husband will be pleased. Um, I'll have to ask for some moon tea and get rid of the Trout. No. Uh, you know what? We'll take the prestige. That's fine. 
Why did we just suddenly get 91 gold? Did you see that? Shu Suen has arrived in your court? This dude arrived and then immediately died. And we inherited gold. Hey, I'll take it. That's fine by me. Let him rot. Alright, so now we can immediately start building our observatory there. Sweet. Okay. My god, if we can release... I don't think we'll, we'll quite have enough time to release the Outer Gods in this episode. But my god, I can certainly try. Let's compose a book. Something we actually never did as Top Box Buff. I think we had to be futile to do it. So, I mean... Yeah, I don't know why we never got around to it. I guess I just never noticed or something like that. Maybe we didn't have enough learning? That doesn't seem right either. What should we write about? The old ones. Clearly, we're going to write about the old ones. Good lord. You and your entourage have arrived in the Saffron Lands and warmly received by food and shelter by Shadow Chancellor Datasig as your guest. After a few days of feasting and idle pleasantries, you formally announce you wish to negotiate the peaceful annexation of Ashai to Ashai. All right. Negotiations with the Shadow Chancellor have broken down. Terms agreeable to both parties could not be reached. We must leave. Uh, he gets a minus 20 opinion of us. We lose 100 prestige. Well, fine then. We'll just fuck it. You know what? Roll the dice. Give me that dragon. Give me that dragon. You've decided to approach the wild beast, Tyveron. Now, because we are a Shy, we do have 150% bonus to taming chance. Uh, does anything else give us any taming chance with the dragon? No. Being kind does not affect the dragon. Being charitable does not affect the dragon. Being honorable does not affect the dragon. I will tame the dragon. We've failed and we'll now face the consequences. We've been wounded. Oh, he's built a lair in a shy. Okay, so he's actually left the palace now. Oh, Christ. Um, of course we're going to face the dragon. Tyveron. Tyveron, come back to us. You are mine. I failed again. You've been wounded a second time. We will... Uh, we've got to keep doing it. We can't leave him... Al we can't leave him alone. He died a natural death. Diggins Spoff died a natural death. A small private funeral was fine, so I can't fucking afford that. All right. Um, face the dragon. Yeah, where's my dragon, though? T Tyveron? Oh my god, did someone else just grab Tyveron? <gasps> no, wait, we're back. Face the dragon. Now, you've got to bear in mind, it took Diggin' Spoff a couple, of, a, a couple of times before he actually finally managed to tame this dragon. So, let's... Diggin' Spoff, did I just say? It took Topbog many, many times before he could, too, face Tyveron. This time, this time. Watch this, ready? You are mine. Shit. Oh, no, my leg! <laughs> um... Shit, something must be done about it. Yeah, no, I agree. We'll get it this time. Trust me. It's currently... Okay, so we've got to wait for the cooldown to finish. All right. Face the dragon. Tyveron. Tyveron, you can't... You are mine. I'm actually so surprised we haven't died. Holy shit. I can't... We can't get him. We can't get him. I'm, should I... Should I just go get some boats and, and head off into the world and learn some dragon lore first? I almost feel like I have to. Now, to my knowledge, the Dragon Law only helps with hatching the Dragon Egg, rather than taming the Dragon. Shit, if I keep doing this, we're just gonna die. We got a son. Wang. Horribly inbred Wang. Oh, fuck. Seriously? Um. Inboard. Inboard Spoth. God damn it. I can't believe we've got inbred. But they're cousins, though. That, that's quite rare that that would happen. Fulfilled the ambition to have a son. Um, but their cousins, though, as if I'm defending it. No, I'm just, I'm just, like, saying it's, it's much rarer for, for cousins for that to happen in CK2. Face the fuck it. Just do it. Put all the eggs in the dragon basket. Your grace, we've received word that Meraxes, one of the original dragons, has died. One of the original three Targaryen dragons has died. Holy shit. Look at that. 175 years old, 92 martial, a legend fate. This is actually Tyveron's... Tyveron's mother died. Crazy. All right, goodbye. Speaking of which, oh god, I'm so, I really hate this, but I can't think of any other way to do it. Tyveron, please. You are mine. What have I done? I've gained the wounded trait. How the fuck are we not dead, though? Oh, shit. Lord Paramount Roland Targaryen has hatched a new dragon. The Targaryens are still around. That's all they've got, though. They've just got Dragonstone, a couple of islands nearby. That might be a fun character to load in as. Man, they've got Dark Sister and Blackfire still, though. How many members of House Targaryen are left? Fifteen. Jesus. What a mistake. All right. Uh, good for him. Yeah, good good, good for you, small Targaryen boy. Oh, God, the, the Shadow Man. I've got so distracted with the dragon. My God. Is this how it begins? Is the madness already setting in? The top bog madness? The spoff madness? Princess Strang is providing me with proof that I've... That... Oh, that someone has been viciously slandering me. Give me a reason to arrest. Prince... Oh, boffin, spoff. Boffin, spoffin. Right, in prison. Get out of here. Um, oh, that actually works. Right, we might want to ransom him off, but we'll wait and see. Hunhel does not approve that we threw him in prison. Hunhel's our husband, so you know what? Fuck Hunhel. Um, well, literally, preferably. All right, um, I'd like to face the dragon again. Now, the only reason I'm doing it so desperately is because it gives the opportunity for other people to also face the dragon. 
So the AI might take that, uh, take the option and eventually tame the dragon and obviously we'll lose it permanently. Then we've got to rely on hatching a dragon egg, but the issue is that's a, then a fresh dragon. A young dragon who's never fought in combat before, weak, it's going to take years and years and years to grow. Jesus, okay. Uh, we could call for dragon riders, which will encourage someone to come and try and tame it. Get out of here. Um, right. Merger troops. Let's take out these shadow men before we do anything else. Oh, thank God. Whew. Another dragon is hatched. Mace is the most, most useful. We got plus 10 opinion there with our troops. Now, a uh, plus 10% morale, sorry. <laughs> opinion with our troops. Um, the only reason I want to train the dragon as well is so that we can actually go to war with a shy on, on dragonback. Oh, God. You fool. No. Top Bog's closest friend and advisor and fellow alchemist. Shilneth. This is exactly what I was talking about. Tried to face the dragon and was eaten alive. Shit. Um, yeah, okay, so that, that just more, imp uh, that, that sort of has vindicated my decision a little bit to, to rush trying to get this dragon. Jesus, we are going to die, aren't we? Is there something strange out there? Ah, we're not going to die. We're getting the traits card. We're fine. Well, that's the opposite of dying. We've, we've fully healed. Um, except for the wounded bit, but we've fully healed for the most part. Right, get out, get out, Shadow Men. Right, troops down. Fuck. This is so bad. Face the dragon. Come on. I'm not letting anyone else grab this goddamn dragon. We've, we've lost trait. Okay, we're fine. You are mine. Shit. Stop! Ah, my arm. My goddamn arm. It could have been worse. We could have been eaten alive. Jesus. Oh, more shadow men. I hate these. I, I hate this mechanic. I hate the mechanic. We were supposed to unify the people and they just keep rising up constantly. Fuck off. Get out of here. Um, someone else is trying to find out about the plot to kill my younger brother. Speaking of which, we should probably try and kill my younger brother. Um, nobody wants to join the plot now. Seriously? Fuck. Okay, well, we've got claims on Lang. All we've got to do is get a dragon and just go to war for Lang. So it's not like it's a... Uh, not like it's a, a massive problem or anything. Someone is plotting against us. The Shadow Men Revolt we could try and imprison. I need to turn off auto stop plot so we can actually put these people in prison. Alright. Uh, Mary, please, I don't give a shit about you. And this thing is done. Thank you. Alright. Face the dragon. This is so dangerous. I love it. Right. Take three. Take five. Tyveron. Tyveron, please. You've taken my arm. Taken my leg. Taken my soul. Left me with a life in hell. At least give me a goddamn dragon. Yes. World is mine. Thank you very much. You have successfully tamed Tyvron. All I had to do was quote the only good Metallica song at him, and it worked perfectly. Oh, thank fucking God. We paid a heavy price. One legged, one handed, but Dragon Rider. Tyvron returns. We've proven our bravery and our ferocity in front of the dragon. That's how you win these things, right? It's like Crocodile Dundee doing his weird hand thing on the dog. That's what we did, except we lost the hand, and then we did it with the other hand, and then apparently it worked. Observing the stars at night, you've begun to sense some strange irregular movements. You also notice that some stars seem to appear and disappear at odd times. There's a star that disappears directly. When I look at it, 33% chance of getting a trait diligent. That's incredible. Um, I like both of these traits, actually. Less susceptible to being murdered. It begins. The paranoia. The delusions. They're setting in. The, the old ones are finally reaching out to Queen Ayla. She's proving herself to the gods as well. By taming that dragon. By offering her arm and her leg to it. I think, I think she's really starting to make some ground. Right. Now that we're a dragon rider, what do we do? First things first, I think we unify a shy again. The issue is, I still it's still the same issue though. If we do this, we're not actually gonna get a shy. We just become their liege. I can't believe that we can't push like du jour claims on this fucking province. It's ridiculous. Um How can we do it besides grabbing claims? Because I don't particularly want to wait for claims to fabricate. That's gonna take years. It's gonna take five years on average, five, six years on average there. Um uh, maybe we should take Lang first. Claim Lang. Council say no. Why? Uh, Zealot, there are other wolves that are more important to me right now. Well, that's because you're a fucking idiot, Strang of a Shy. Um, who else have we got? Port Morak says no. He's returning a favor to Port Morak, and Port Morak is just voting with the rest of the council. We're busy fighting another war. Uh, no, we're not. You mean this rebellion? I mean, I'll help with the rebellion. Can I offer to join your war? No, I absolutely can't. Well, it's a little bit bullshit that my vassals are fighting a war, so I can't declare my own war in response, but fine, okay. Um, I guess we'll just wait and see and hope that my husband doesn't lose, he's going to lose all the land. And there's absolutely nothing I can do to stop this. It seems a little bit bullshit, I will admit. You're telling me it's genuinely, I can't help out, I've just got to watch my land disappear. Why won't you let me join you? There's no option. Well, I guess we'll just wait for these lands to disappear. A merchant specializing in rare books and scrolls has arrived in a shy seeking audience. He has learned of your enthusiasm for reading and other learned pursuits. He is offering you the chance to purchase one of his wares, the Jade Compendium. Your dragon, Tyvron, is a ravenous beast who's eating with some more peasants. Uh, we can lose 100 gold in game 50 piety. Absolutely not. Fuck off. 
Finally. Oh, we healed. Okay, that's what I was mostly worried about with this thing, especially as we're getting ill as well. Probably with the pox, let's be honest. Oh shit, we're actually wearing the shadow crown now. Look at that. That's a nice crown. Okay, the Jade Compendium gives uh, learning. It gives monthly prestige. Hey, the learning's pretty nice. I'd like to join the Alchemist Guild, but I think we need to become, you know, Scholar, Erudite, something like that first. So so this, uh, this focus that we're currently working on will probably help out a little bit with that. We've got the pox, unsurprisingly. We have ourselves... Oh my god, we don't have ourselves a Magi. Oh, of course, because Shithaleth, or whatever his fucking name was, got eaten by the dragon. Right, okay. Um, I guess we'll just find someone in the character finder. Um, let's take a look here. So, sort by learning. Join court. My god, that guy is pretty goddamn... Minister of the Household of Princess... That's that's a cool title. Um, yeah, 18 learning. You're pretty good. Invite to court. Do we have, like, a renowned position or something? No, it's basically all the same character. All of these event spawn characters generally have the same traits. Um... You know, scholar, varying amounts of, of education there. Right, welcome to court. Excellent, yep. Um, Kuda Gula, sounds like a monster in Monster Hunter, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking more suitable accommodation that would befit his rank. Who are you? Why do you deserve something more suitable of your rank? Nope, uh, Oubliette. No, let him rot. Uh, Oubliette. <laughs> oh, the council say no. Can't believe the council gets a vote on whether or not I put someone in an Oubliette. That's absurd. Right, court physician. There we go. Please, for the love of God, seek treatment for illness. Thank you. Heal me. So, okay. So this one I feel like I should point out before the comments pointed out. Sending for a sorrowful man is an assassin. Uh, we did look at it very, very early on in the series. Depending on the rank of the character you're trying to assassinate will increase the cost. For a king, it's generally like 2,000 gold or something like that. Now we need to stop this plot and restart it because he, he was a child when we started the plot. Oh my god, who's, he had a son? Who the fuck is that? Who is this? My son? Oh, fuck. It's because the title is... Like, what, I absolute... Oh, no, it's just Agnatic Cognatic. And, of course, the firstborn son falls before... My God, that's annoying. Um, we might have to kill our own son. Don't forget, we can just declare war to claim Lang, so it doesn't matter too much. we just got to get the council on side. It actually might be better at this point to do that rather than assassinating him, because we're going to lose the title if we do that. Whereas, if we just claim it, then, obviously, we get it, so it doesn't matter. Um, this one's still the biggest pain in the arse, eh? I still can't believe we can't do anything with that. He comes to see you and explains there are several types of treatment he can offer, as long as you know what you're doing. Um... Health minus one. Excellent. We're now known as the Persevering. Uh, I f feel like that's the most appropriate, given what we went through for that fucking dragon. Minus two health. Minus one health. Oh, God. Oh, God. We actually might die here. <gasps> Lose the trait pox. Nothing can kill her. By Yogg-Sothoth. She is right. No, we don't want to become a shadow binder. Get out of here with you. I might even... No. Not again. Never again will Health Spot fall from the path of glory for the old gods. My God. Okay, um, I basically gotta sit and just wait for a shy to disappear. I hate this. I hate this mechanic because there's nothing I can do. The research you're conducting in your observatory of night is proving deeply fascinating. You can push your studies further. Absolutely. 30 gold. Get out of here. And they have now taken the Saraborai again. And now all I've gotta do is go back and take Saraborai again for my husband. I hate it. I don't know why this is a mechanic. Why could I not just join this rather than. Now we've gotta fight it across two walls rather than just one. And again, this one's gone as well. It's a. D oh, man. I kind of understand it in a way, right? But it's also a little ridiculous that you can't offer to join the war when it's already a guaranteed victory. They're, they're, they're crap troops, right? It even says it's a cultural bonus or a cultural malice that they have such shitty troops. So why not just let us join the war against them? Because you know we're going to win. <sighs> Major Gunnar suggested that I buy some books on anatomy and herbalism so we can improve his skills. Yeah, that seems like a fairly good idea, seeing as the last trip you gave us almost killed us. I'm glad to hear it. Well then, game one learning. Right. Let's show you the fucking dragon, eh? I'm sure people remember it. I'm sure they're horrified to see that uh, Ale of the Persevering, granddaughter of Top Box Buff, immediately starts reading into a, a cult, throws people into prison, shouting Deus Volk, calling them a heretic, and then goes and rides a dragon that burns the land. Yeah, I'm sure people are, are inspired by this, this new turn of events, a new ruler that they've got. Okay, um, and now what I'm going to do is classic Saruman, burn them all. Oh, shit, we're in mountains. Oh, Christ. Um, please, for the love of God, reinforce. I'm with child again. God damn it, that's annoying. Alright, um... <laughs> oh god. Uh, yeah, it, it should be fine though. As long as we're still... I mean, we don't need to put the dragon on the center. The dragon can go anywhere. But I'm just so used to actually being a good military ruler that I normally go on the center. We're trying to raise the quality of our work. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Who cares if we get a cold? Apparently we've survived losing an arm, losing a leg, being severely injured by a dragon twice. Um, it never managed to kill us. And the pox, whilst being also poorly treated. I mean, I feel like this character just can't die. Alright, I'm going to say that. We're immediately going to get killed by Shadow Men now, aren't we? Right, torch them. Get out. What, now we can use the dragon? I guess it's just in battles in mountains. Alright, fair enough. Dracarys, 
Oh, he's so powerful. Clap him in irons. And there you go, husband. Have your freaking land back that you just lost like an idiot. I'm so annoyed by that. Right, come home. These shadow men. Why don't we take a vote? Because I feel like the series is going to be me fighting shadow men over and over and over and over. Why don't we vote to, ha to, to, to add an event to the game that unifies the shadow men or burns them all. She rounds them up, becomes a lunatic and burns them all. I don't know. Look. That, no, maybe not that one. But bear in mind what the series started with. Maybe not that one. Um, but, you know, some sort of event to add a finality to this. Because I feel like we're constantly... It, it's, it's just this constant uphill battle where, where we get the ram together. The Shadow Men rebel. There's nothing I can do about it, as we saw then. Like, literally no gameplay mechanic I can employ to stop them. Wait for it to disappear. Declare war for back. And it's just this constant struggle. We're not making any progress. I mean, we are. But, you know, it's, it's like I said, an uphill struggle. It's, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass as well that we're wasting so much time. Hey! More rare books. Now, I thought that was the Necronomicon they were trying to approach us with, but it, it, they're just rare books that we can buy for gold. That's a cool little event that they've added to Scholarship. Oh, man, that's so nice. Uh, how many can we equip? Three out of four? Oh, crawled. Okay. Um, I imagine when we've got four in our library, we can't buy anymore, or maybe it's just random. Oh, fuck, they've lost Stig Eye as well. Ah! I'm so annoyed. Thank you all for watching. Uh, big shout out to the patrons for making this series. I don't know. I'm, I'm, like, completely lost. I'm so annoyed by this. I feel like I just need to edit it out. Despite what you guys vote. Although I imagine you're all sensible people in favour of it as well. Big shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible. Including Big Dick Timmy, Zachary Harris, Sarik, Lucas Salting, Sean Thornton, Lawrence, Sidini, Haydog, Paul, Necrofinland, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton. I think this is playing the wrong video. I think, I think I've got the wrong outro card playing. It's fine. Jacob Alexander Fenton, Balvis Bregley, Logan Thorne, Personal Touch. Conspired C. Personal touches in the background. I'm saying it's personal touch because I, I fucked up the outro card. Orcs Wolf. Average game of 419. Escape. Zazz 70, 11 and Jackson Women for the sport. The new Patreon list should be available today. So I'll update that end card accordingly. Thanks, Patreon. And a big shout out as well to Nathaniel Limburg, Fanny Matonia, Euphrates, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Vanders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yohan DeVries, Don Connie 2 and 7, Seth McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, The Sage, Chris, Surthal the Swede, Asro, Nick, Fraser Bunning, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Eagle Kozak, has he. Ha my god, I'm so sorry. Haji Dumar, Noah Gallimore, and Panther Pearl for your support on Patreon as well. My god. This has been a bit of a mess, eh?